Hey guys, this is Tech It Out, and today I'm going to show you how to dual boot your iPhone 4S or any 32-bit device with iOS 9 and iOS 6, 7, or 8, any iOS version of your choice. But today I'm going to show you how to do it on iOS 6, but I will show you how you can change it. It's super easy. Okay, so the first thing you need to do to be able to dual boot your iPhone is you have to be jailbroken. As you can see, Cydia is on my home screen there will be a card here to watch my video on how to jailbreak iOS 9.3.5 otherwise there are other videos you will have to search based on your firmware the way you can find out what firmware you're on is go to settings general and about and as you can see I am on 9.3.5 right there so you have to be on iOS 9.3.5 in order or iOS 9. I believe you can even do it on iOS 8 or even 7, but you have to be jailbroken. So let's get started on how to do this. First thing you want to do is go into Cydia. And once you're at Cydia, go to Sources, Edit, Add, and, and add this source that will be in the video description. Cool Booter dot com. And I didn't spell it right. Let me try that again. But it will be in the video description as you can see right there. It's coolbooter.com. So now you just need to click done and click on coolbooter.com and click system and click coolbooter. And then you want to click modify and install and confirm and it's 21 megabytes. Also to do this process you have to have at least four and a half gigabytes available on your iPhone. I have 8 gigabytes available. This is a 16 gigabyte iPhone 4S. So this will also be working on the iPhone 5, iPhone 4S, iPhone 4, iPad 2, 3, and 4, and I believe that in the iPad mini. You have to have a 32-bit device. Unfortunately, it will not work for 64-bit devices such as the iPhone 5S and anything higher and the iPad Air and anything higher than that and the iPad Mini 2 and anything higher than that. There's all 64-bit. All the older devices are 32-bit. So I'll get back to you as soon as this finishes. Okay, well, I said that literally like two seconds ago, so now I just click Return to Cydia and go exit out. And Cool Booter should be on your home screen, as you can see right here. It's a little red icon. I'm just going to move this over here because that's where I'm going to keep all my jailbroken apps. So now to go in, now you just need to click on it. And now it says, please back up your device with iTunes. I've already done that but I'm going to do it just to show you how to do it. So, let's go back up our device. Okay, so like I said, you will need to back up your device using iTunes. You will have to have a charge slash sync cable available, whether you have the Lightning, which is the small one, or the 30 pin dock connector, which is this big one. I'm using the 30 pin dock connector because I have an iPhone 4S, and that is what I have to use. So I'm going to plug that in to my computer. Once you've plugged it into your computer, go ahead and plug it in to the iPhone. Okay, so once you've plugged in your iPhone, iTunes should open automatically. If it doesn't, just go down to your dock or launch pad or search up here in the spotlight search on an iMac. Or you can go to Finder and applications to find iTunes. If you're on a Windows, install iTunes link will be in the description and go ahead and select to add a desktop link to iTunes. So go ahead and head over to the little iPhone thingy over here and go ahead and just hit back up now. This should take about two to three minutes to back up your iPhone depending on how much data you have on your iPhone. Okay, so as I said, it will take two to three minutes to back up your iPhone and it has now finished. So now you just click eject on the iPhone and then you can unplug your iPhone from your computer. Now let's get back to the iPhone. Like I said, we're back at the iPhone and we're just going to go ahead and go into the Cool Booter app. Click OK and click install here and select the iOS version you want 
to dual boot to. So you can dual boot all the way to 8.4.1. I am going to choose 6.0 because that's what I prefer. But you can choose any of these firmwares here all the way to 8.4.1. So now select the firmware. I'm doing iOS 6.0 and click I'm ready. And now it says, would you like to use a custom boot logo? I'm just going to choose yes, just because I'm going to see if there's a photo that I can use. Oh crap, I forgot. I deleted them all. <laughs> well, I am not going to choose a custom boot logo. Okay, so now it asks you, do you want to boot into verbose mode? What that shows is basically any errors that could possibly happen when you boot up your device and it runs like a bunch of codes down the screen. So I'm just going to click yes. And then do you want to jailbreak the other OS, in this case iOS 6.0? Do you want to have it jailbroken? I actually don't want it jailbroken, but again, you can always restore your device and redo this. So I am just going to click no, because I do not. And then it says data protection workaround beta. Would you like to use this? Use a protected volume in the other OS. This will require an extra one gigabyte on the other OS. Answer no if I'm unsure. I'm not really sure what this does, a protected volume. I'm really not sure, but I'm going to click no. So you can go ahead and do whatever you want. Now it says installing. So now we're going to have to wait on it to download. As you can see, it is downloading the firmware from Apple. Sorry, my camera's not focusing right away. But you can see this little bar down here. It is downloading iOS 6.0 from Apple. So, I will be back to you as soon as that bar is finished downloading. Okay, so it has finished downloading iOS 6. Now it will say verifying IPSW, and it appears to be going decently fast. It just kind of skipped right there, but I guess it'll go by really fast so I'll let you know if I have any errors okay so now it's extracting the firmware so that should hopefully go pretty quick it doesn't take too long on iTunes but I guess we'll just have to see okay so now it says partitioning that means it is splitting your drive basically your storage in two so now iOS 9 might only have 8 gigabytes if you're on a 16 gigabyte device I'm not sure how it partitions the device but I guess we're about to find out so it's partitioning the hard drive so you won't have as much storage on iOS 9 or your current firmware but it will give some to iOS 6 or whichever firmware you have chosen but you won't have the full capacity of your iPhone or iPod or iPad. So now it is flashing iOS 6.0 or whatever firmware you chose to the partition on the drive it just created. Okay, so it is completely normal to get this storage almost full. So you can just click done. It's completely normal even if you have however four and a half gigabytes you must have at least four and a half gigabytes free now it is finishing up installation oh it just crashed that's not good okay so cool booter actually crashed and i had to redo the whole thing now if cool booter doesn't crash you'll just what you'll have to do if it crashes is you'll just go back into it and uninstall it and reinstall it there's literally an uninstall button so now once it finishes it will ask you to reboot so go ahead and hit reboot and I'm new at this. I've never done this before. So I'm just as eager to find out what happens as y'all are. So, okay, so it's rebooting. I do not believe it's going to boot into iOS 6 yet. I believe we have to do that from the Cool Booter app, not just hitting restart. I believe just like restarting a computer when you install a program, I believe it's just like that. So, let's see what happens. Okay, so it just booted into the normal lock screen. Now we can go into Cool Booter. Take that back. I got to re kickstart the jailbreak. I'll be right back. So I have kickstarted the jailbreak. Now we're going to go back into Cool Booter. And we're just going to click Boot. And it's going to say Booting iOS 6.0. Now just lock your device. And hopefully it will work.
this time because I've already went through the whole entire thing once. Oh, oh, yes, it's working. Yay. Thank goodness it didn't crash again. So this is what verbose, verbose mode will look like. It's telling you any, it will tell you any errors that's going on and it'll tell you actually everything that's going on. Okay, so the three seconds has passed and you have booted into iOS 6.0. Now we just click next, next, and I'm going to sign into my Wi-Fi real quick. I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back and I've spent like a full minute trying to log on to my own Wi-Fi network. I know the password. I've been looking at the password. It will not let me on. I've clicked back and next a jillion times. It still is not letting me in to my Wi-Fi network even with the correct password. So it says if your iPhone will not work over Wi-Fi or you can't connect, then connect it to iTunes. So that's exactly what we're going to do. So to connect to iTunes, you literally just hit connect to iTunes and continue. And now we need to plug our device in to the computer we're going to be using. And I'll see you at the computer. So you'll get here. I'm going to type in my Apple ID. Okay, so now it has completed the setup or something like that. So now you can just hit cancel here, it looks like. Okay, so I'm just going to hit cancel there. And I'm going to go to the iPhone and swipe and hit next and continue. And now I'm going to set up the iPhone and we should, let's see, should have a working iPhone 4S on iOS 6. Look at that. iOS 6 on the iPhone 4S. So thanks for watching this video guys. I hope this dual booting tutorial worked. I'm going to do one on dual booting iOS 10 and iOS 6, 7, or 8 here coming up soon. So stay tuned for that. I hope you enjoyed this and I hoped it worked for you. Also, let me know if you come up with the fix for the Wi-Fi issue. I still can't get it to connect to any network that I've tried. I've tried tethering it to my iPhone with the personal hotspot and this Wi-Fi network. So if you come up with a fix for that, please let me know down in the comments below or message me using Instagram or YouTube. So please like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more. Peace.